thanks for joining us on another journey. Today, we're in Romania, in the city of... Sighishwara. We think we're saying that right. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. But this is going to be some things to see and do while you're in Sighishwara. This is April, and I'm Wayne. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey. Sighishwara's main point of attraction is the clock tower also known as the Council Tower, which was built in the second half of the 14th century and expanded in the 16th century. The four small corner turrets on top of the tower symbolize the judicial autonomy of the town council, which could apply, if necessary, the death penalty. In the 17th century, a two-plate clock with figurines carved from linden wood was set at the top of the tower, with one dial looking over the lower town and the other facing the citadel. The figurines, moved by the clock's mechanism, each represent a different character. On the citadel side, we see Peace holding an olive branch, accompanied by a drummer who is beating the hours on his bronze drum. Above them are Justice, with a set of scales, and Law, wielding a sword, accompanied by two angels representing day and night. At 6 a.m., the angel symbolizing the day appears, marking the beginning of the working day, and at 6 p.m., the angel symbolizing the night comes out carrying two burning candles, marking the end of the working day. The dial overlooking the lower city features a set of seven figurines, each representing the pagan gods who personified the days of the week. Diane for Monday, Mars Tuesday, Mercury Wednesday, Jupiter Thursday, Venus Friday, Saturn Saturday, and the Sun Sunday. From the top of the clock tower, you can look down on the red tile roofs of the old town and see intact 16th century Saxon houses lining the narrow cobblestone streets. Today, merchants and craftsmen still go about their business as they did centuries ago. Uh, in Siggy Shore, you can see in the wintertime, it's really smoky because most people still heat with wood or coal. One of the things I really like walking around Siggy Shore is even though this is during Christmas time, you don't feel like you're just another tourist. We were pretty much the only tourists there. At least that's the way it felt to me. Everybody was local. It did feel like there were less tourists, yes. Until we would pass the occasional tourist trappy type restaurant or right. or a business. But even within. then it wasn't it wasn't overly packed. No. April, what do you think about Siggy Shore? This is really cool. I love, love, love all the brightly colored buildings, the cobblestone streets that aren't that great for me with my balance issues. <laughs> <laughs> or my bad back. <laughs> but it's an experience. It really feels like we are just a part of the locals doing their thing. And yes. how cool would it be to have this structure just part of your daily life? Everything is so old here. Sigi Shora is the birthplace of Vlad the Impaler, also known as Dracula. Vlad the Impaler, who was the prince of Wallachia, who spent his childhood in Transylvania, is due to the bloodthirsty and punitive character. Mm -hmm. So that's how the that's how the association came. He wasn't drinking the blood; he was killing. <clears throat> The popular nickname Impaler was due to the brutal habit of applying capital punishment by impalement. At that time in all of feudal Europe, there was a climate of cruelty in Vlad the Impaler characterized by its enemies as a sinister person thirsting for human blood. See part above for our Braun Castle video. Oh yes. Sigi Shwara became one of the most important cities of Transylvania, with artisans from throughout the Holy Roman Empire visiting the settlement. The German artisans and craftsmen dominated the urban economy as well as building the fortifications protecting it. It's estimated that during the 16th and 17th centuries, Sigi Shwara had as many as 15 guilds and 20 handicraft branches. What's a guild? A guild is an association of artisans or merchants who oversee the practice of their craft and trade in a particular area. It's an association. It was really neat because while we were there, locals were gathering for a candlelight vigil. 
we got to talking to some and were offered to try their Isfar, which is a hot red wine with what, added sugar? Yeah, added sugar, possibly even pepper. We're not sure about the pepper, but it did seem a little bit spicy. Uh, and I'm not sure if that was just because it was hot. Welcomed drink when it was so frigid out. Oh, it was so cold. When I was flying my drone, I couldn't even feel my fingers. But It was a neat walk up the hill with the locals. Yes. Speaking in Romanian around us while taking in some of the sunset views. Right. Now, we didn't film this, unfortunately, just because uh, they asked us not to. But it was a great experience, and I highly suggest uh, coming out to Siggy Shore and being a local for a day. Yeah. In 1999, Siggy Shore was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its 850-year-old testament to the history and culture of the Transylvanian Saxons. We really, really liked our Airbnb here in Sigi Shwara. Yes, it is a cute little fortress. I wouldn't call it a fortress. <laughs> it feels like a fortress. We had to go through the gate. <laughs> That's true. It's a very quintessential feeling place, right? Like old Lots. school Romanian, through the gate, the courtyard. Lots of character. Yeah. Lots and lots of character. Airbnb space itself was very well decorated. All the bases were covered. The best part was that the bed was comfortable. The bed was amazing. That's and get this, 37 US dollars. Yes. And it was in walking distance to downtown, Old Town. Everything was right there. Oh, and the best, best part, they even had beer for you. Yes. What great Airbnb host. <laughs> Get there, you got a couple beers in the fridge already for you. Yep. We want to thank you guys for watching our video all the way to the end. If you would, hit that subscribe button, share it with a friend, and like always, thank, thank you for, for living life.